What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you an awesome video to talk about the huge bottleneck in resources, mainly the rawhide and the iron chunks and potentially the forgotten souls in Diablo 4. It seems like season after season, not only do you know the devs and stuff obviously want us to play, but there's always seems to be one of these mats or materials that seems to be the bottleneck, which causes us to have a huge delay in our play, which can potentially lead to players leaving the game. So I will I will hop over to the good old uh where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hop over to the season PTR here and let's talk about this. Uh my my notes. Adam Fletcher did tweet out earlier today that separately the plan, the team is checking in on crafting materials such as raw hide and iron with a hot fix at the start of the week. So this was today at 410 in the afternoon. Um, so potentially tomorrow we will get a buff. I'm not sure what that buff is. I wish I had more information for you guys, but there is a lot of people down here in the comments um, that are very upset. And I'm going to go ahead and add on here and go awesome. Finally, uh, awesome finally i can make another character um i'm not even gonna say that let's let's just be let's just be supportive here let's be supportive awesome so yeah that's there and i made a little spreadsheet here and some stuff to figure out exactly how to do these things so we have two different ways that we are going to do this and that way you can farm these per hour now one of them is a little bit more fun than the other however it is significantly less materials than the first strategy so the second strategy to get the most iron chunks and rawhide um, per hour, I would say, is probably boss fighting. But more in particular, we're going to go into the broken mirror. And it is going to be the beast in the ice. I got my buddy Demon here because the first strategy, you will need a second person. But we'll talk about that in just a second. So, of course, we all know boss farming. And as long as you have the materials, just come in here and fight the boss. One really cool thing about Beast in the Ice in particular, among other bosses, and that is that each boss drops particular items, right? So we're going to kill the Beast in the Ice real quick and just destroy him. And he drops very particular items. So let's go ahead and pick everything up. I already, I already have some. So you can see that he drops a lot of jewelry and then helmets. So jewelry, gear, and helmets. So he drops about... Three jewelry and three helmets. So when it comes to your raw hide and your iron chunks, iron chunks are from jewelry. So this is any jewelry. So this is the the three. So we'll get from here. And then raw hide is from any armor piece that's on your character. So these gloves and the two helmets will count for iron hide. However, the issue with this is, is that it does not give a whole lot of mats. So let's go ahead. Before we teleport, let's go over to my little uh, cheat sheet here. Um, and you can see that down here for salvaging gear, that any armor rawhide, we've already done the numbers, and this is salvaging. So salvaging any armor or jewelry gives you one from a legendary in each category. A legendary GA is 10, a unique is three, a unique GA is 10, and then if you do a mythic, that's 100, which is just frankly insulting. Um, considering how hard it is to get mythics, If I mean, I guess it can be easy for some people, but the, the time and effort that it takes to get into getting a mythic and then the cost. I mean, using a hundred rawhide or a hundred iron chunks to master work your gear is like three upgrades and you're well over a hundred, or at least it feels that way. And you just go through this on top of the reset. So these numbers are abysmal um, in consideration. Now, the first and best way is going to be the Temple of Rot. Okay, so we're going to go show you the Temple of Rot and exactly how to do this. Um, the Temple of Rot, my teammates are already here, so I'm just going to teleport to him really quickly. The Temple of Rot is by far the best way. However, it is the most boring way because at least if you do Beast in the Ice or at least if you do like Duriel or if you go do Varshan or you go do Grigor, at least, you know, you're getting like some really good mats right? or not mats, but you're getting like some items, you're getting some runes right you're getting some gear that you could potentially use for a character or a build and i mean you know these things salvage really you know decently and then of course because any boss has a increased chance of dropping a mythic you do have a chance to get a mythic from any boss that includes beast in the ice it doesn't just have to be um duriel or Andariel. so i'm gonna uh, go ahead and teleport to demon here who's over at temple of rot we'll just go ahead and join him um this is by far the 
most boring and least fun way. However, it is the highest amount of rawhide and iron chunks you can get, including you will get some forgotten souls here. So the whole idea is, is that you'll come into the Temple of Rot. Hopefully you don't have this completed already. Um, if you do, then that's a bummer. The strategy is not going to work for you. Find a friend who doesn't have this completed and you can do it. So the fastest way is doing this with a partner. However, if you cannot do it with a partner, then you do have to go ahead and leave game every time you open up a chest and then come back in and rinse and repeat. So if you have a partner or somebody who wants to do this, then fine. The other way if you want to do it is if you have a brand new character, you can make a brand new character real quick just to do this, just to farm materials. But if you are doing it solo, you will have to leave the game and then come back in. But essentially how it works is very simple. All you're going to do is run to where my teammate is. So you come into the Temple of Rot. You're not going to complete the Temple of Rot. Okay. All you're going to do is just run over here to the back. Super easy. And then here is like the trick. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up the resplendent chest. So you will see my materials here. So I have 860 iron chunks, 1529 rawhide, and I have... To 2117 forgotten souls so you're going to open the resplendent chest it's going to drop a few items and a bunch of materials here okay now before i do the second part i'm going to go ahead and go back into my sheet here and break down the time the the amount that you get so each raw hide you get from opening this chest is 65 you get 27 iron chunks and you get uh 10 forgotten souls okay 10 forgotten souls so you can do this in easily 20 seconds, right? So again, I was going to put my start numbers in here, but we already have it. Um, if I go back into the game and I go in here, right, you can see that I went up, right, to 8,100. Then I have 1,570 rawhide, and then we got 2,127 instead of 2,117 forgotten souls. So here's the trick. Now, you will get a few extra rawhides and stuff from these items, but here's the trick. All you're going to do is leave the party. I'm going to leave the party. It's going to kick me from the stronghold. It is also going to kick your teammate from the stronghold. And this takes like less than 20 seconds to do this all over again. So now my teammate is going to request to join. And then all we're going to do is run to the back. Run all the way to the back. And you can be on your mount, which makes this even faster. You're going to come all the way to the back. And then you're just going to open up the chest. And you're going to rinse and repeat. So it's very, very easy. It's very quick. You can literally do this in sub 20 seconds. So again, you'll look at the numbers here. We can even input them just for the video. So 81 and 1570. So we got 8100 raw or uh, 1570 rawhide, 8100 chunks. And then what was this? 2127, right? 2127 of those. Okay, then we will pop it, open it up, get a couple more items, right? And then you are getting veiled crystals on top of this, which is really nice. So let's go take a look. Uh, 8115, 1600. 80, 8115, 1600. And then what is the last one? 23, 2137. So 2137. So again, oh, the numbers are actually different this time. So maybe it's not 65 every time. Oh, that's bad for the video, but I'm going to leave it in there because we're human and we all make mistakes. So we got 65 the first time, and then this next time we got 30. This time we got 15, and then this time we got 27 or 10. So we're going to do it one more time. We'll go through and do it one more time just for the video. Boom. I'm glad that was on there. It seemed like it changed because that first run we did get 65. So I want to be sure if this if this changes. He'll join again. This way you guys can farm it efficiently and kind of just crack down the numbers here. So we'll wait again. Remember, always wait for your teammate to show up. We have the same numbers here. 8115, 16, and 2137 which is our end, and then we'll compare it and see what we have as our teammate gets here. Let's go ahead and pop. Bang. All right. Then let's go see what we got here. 8145, 1654. So we got 8145, so we gained 30 this time. And then we have 1654, so we gained 54 this time. 
And then, of course, we always got 10. So it looks like based on the number of items that we got is determined on how many items we actually get. So on average, we're getting about 40 of those, which is really nice. I think the max that you can get on uh, like Rawhide is 100 if no items pop. So this is by far the best and most efficient way to farm these, these items. Again, farming Iron Chunks, Rawhide, and then Forgotten Souls if you need those. However, it is the most boring way, right? You're just leaving party, you're resetting the stronghold, and then you're just going through and just popping these chests. So I'm glad that we got to see this a couple times and I didn't leave you guys astray on 65 per run because this time we got like 50, this one got 40, and then we got 10 always on Forgotten Souls. So you're going to have a nice little average between 30 and 40 on every single chest, which is nice. So, and then you have your higher runs like this time with 50, 65, etc. So it's kind of nice, but again, guys, this is by far the best way. So like the video, comment down below. I will update this guide and stuff with the new changes tomorrow, uh, depending on when it gets rolled out for all the raw highs. But in the meantime, guys, until those changes come, and hopefully those changes are better, especially when it comes to the salvaging of our gear. Uh, hopefully it'll just be better so that way we can have more fun master working because right now we're really in a tough spot and uh, yesterday when I did upgrade all of my gear to what you see here I had 14,000 rawhide and I came down to like 1200 or something or 1400 and now I'm only at 1600 which this 1600 goes very quickly as you guys know so like the video guys comment down below let me know if you guys have any other strategies to farm these resources in diablo 4 don't forget to subscribe and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace